Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern, well equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School. The sky is our limit. Hello, my dear children of Primary 5. Greetings from Mbuya Parent School. My name is Matege Samuel. This serves to be our first le electronic lesson of institutional studies in Primary 5. Now remember, before we went for the lockdown, we had started our topic. Do you still remember it? For those ones who still remember the, lesson, uh, the topic that we were handling, that was climate. Uh, we said that climate is the average weather conditions of a place recorded for a long time. In that very matter, we looked at the as major aspects of climate, and that was rainfall and temperature. So therefore, today we are going just to pick up from there, where we looked at the climatic regions in Uganda and all that work were up to where we ended. So let us pick up uh, from there, where we are going to look at our aspects of climate, and today we are going to look at one of them, and that is rainfall. But before that, we are going to set targets of which we are going to achieve. You must have achieved by the end of this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you must be able to give a difference between the three types of rainfall that are received in various areas where I am and where you are. Secondly, you will be able to know what rainfall is and then thirdly, to appreciate nature. How? Uh, in a way that you will be able to conserve the sources that help us in rain formation. Let us catch up from here. Uh, there where you are, you can even get your book and you keep with me. Because there are questions that I will be asking you and you keep tracking in your book from what we had already looked at. Now, here we begin. Uh, the word is rainfall. Can we first of all uh, spell the word together? Rainfall. R A. I-N-F-A-L-L. -L. The word is rainfall. What is rainfall? Rainfall is the condensed moisture falling from the atmosphere in form of drops. Yes, what you see falling from the atmosphere, wherever you are, to those ones who have ever been in areas where we receive this, is rainfall. And what you see coming is rain. So that process of rain coming from the atmosphere is called precipitation. Have you heard the word? The word is precipitation. Therefore, in this we are going to look at our types of rainfall that are received in various areas. Types of rainfall. One, we have, number one, we have relief rainfall. Uh, relief rainfall is also called orographic rainfall. Let us spell the word relief. Relief. R-E-L-I-E-F. The word is relief. Relief is the general appearance of an area. Then, let us also spell the word orographic. O-R-O-G-R-A-P-H-I-C. The word is orographic. Let us have another type of rainfall that is received in various areas of Uganda. Another type of rainfall is called convectional. Convectional. Again, convectional. Can you spell the word convectional? C-O-N-V-E-C-T-I-O-N-L-A. The word is convectional. Let us have our third type of rainfall, and that one is cyclonic rainfall. Can we spell the word cyclonic? C-Y-C-L-O-N. C I C. The word is cyclonic. Uh -huh. Now, we are going to look at one by one in bits so that we know how every type of rainfall is received. We are going, or oh, is formed. We are going to look at relief rainfall. How is it formed? Where is it uh, received? 
uh, this one is received in mountainous areas. This type of rainfall is received in mountainous areas. Below is a picture of uh, a mountain, meaning that we are trying to show you where this type of rainfall is received. It is received in mountainous areas. And how is it formed? We are going to look at the way this uh, type of rainfall is received. It is formed when the sun hits the water body and evaporation takes place. In near this, uh, this, relief, uh, uh, this relief type of features, we must have at least water bodies that contribute to the formation of rainfall. The mountains, in most cases, just facilitate its what? rising, uh, meaning the warm, moist air. So the warm, moist air is forced to rise and it is blocked by the mountain, forcing it to rise higher. Forcing it to rise higher. Yes, once we go higher of the mountain, that is where condensation takes place, when it rises from its ground, where it has originated. When the condensation takes place, clouds are formed. These clouds result in rain. We are going to have at least a picture to illustrate how uh, relief rainfall is formed. Uh, there is a picture illustrating how relief rainfall is formed. Here we are having features that help us in the formation of relief rainfall. We are having the sun, we are having the water body, and we are having a mountain. This is a relief feature. Now, what, ha uh, what happens is the sun hits the water body, which is somewhere near uh, the relief feature you're seeing sun rays are hitting the water body. In the due course, water is heated. When this water is heated, it starts evaporating. And when it ev evaporates, it produces the warm, moist air, which is carrying moisture. And the arrows here are showing that this warm, moist air is uh, rising, following the mountain, because it cannot penetrate and go inside. In this very manner, it will rise following the what? the mountain. So the mountain is forcing it to rise up. When it goes above, we know well, the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. So temperature changes with altitude. For something that, or something hot, that it goes up, it has to cool down. In this very uh, uh, occasion, the clouds are formed due to one process called condensation, that is cooling down. So the warm moist air uh, forms the clouds around here, and then after the clouds have, have been formed, this, uh, the, the air that forms the clouds continues after losing the moisture. It descends to the other side, and you're seeing uh, the dry air is descending. So these are the two parts, sides of the mountain. This one is called the windward side, and the other one is called the leeward side. This leeward side is the one that receives dry air, and this one receives see, warm air, which carries moisture that helps us to uh, that, that helps us receive rainfall from the water body through that process. So, as a farmer, if you were a farmer, which side would you want to settle, the windward side or the leeward side? As a farmer, you have to know that you have to settle on the windward side because it is what receives the rainfall. If again you resettle this side of the mountain, you are most likely to lose your plants or the plants may not grow well because this one receives little or no rainfall. Why? It receives dry air. It means it is an rainy shadow. In northeastern Uganda, this is what happens. The northeastern part of Uganda, the Karamoja region, is on the leeward side of Mount Moroto. So it does not receive enough rainfall. It receives little or sometimes no rainfall. So we, uh, we, uh, we go on like that. So we are going to look at the districts where this type of rainfall is received. The first district that we have is Bundibujo. Do you know where Bundibujo district is found? Uh -huh. Now get your book and the, the map we had just drawn you locate where your individual district is. And you also mention the district where uh, that uh, where, uh, where your individual district is also 
or which is covered by the individual district. We are having another uh, district where relief rainfall is received that's in Mbale. Mbale district, that is in the eastern Uganda. We have another district uh, that is Kabale. Uh -huh. to those ones who are in Kabale just know the type of rainfall received in that area is relief because you are in a mountainous what? area. In Kisoro district, you also receive relief rainfall. And we have also another district that's Captura districts, those ones who are in Captura. To remind you that Captura is the leading producer of wheat, those ones who like mandazi and chapati. That flour that is used to make chapati comes from Captura because it's the leading producer of wheat. And then those ones who are found in Kasese, uh, also such areas, receive a relief rainfall because th that area is having mountains. So for that case, therefore, we are through with that type of rainfall. We are going to look at another one. And then at the end, you will be able to compare how the other one is formed and also the other one is formed. We are going to look at convectional rainfall. This one is received in areas around uh, water bodies and forests. They are the ones that uh, help us in the formation of convectional rainfall. So that is in Uganda. That picture is illustrating, is showing us a water body around here. For example, if this is Lake Victoria, hey, those, those places near Lake Victoria, like now in, in Nakawa, like when you are in Pifo, you talked of uh, the, the water body that stretches up to Nakawa Division. That is Lake Victoria. And around here, there are some forests. There are trees. This is vegetation, which also helps in the formation of rainfall through evaporation and transpiration from plants. Now, how is this formed? Still the same process goes. Like we have seen in the formation of relief rainfall, even in convection rainfall, the sun is a salient feature in the formation of this, of uh, convection rainfall. So it is formed when the sun hits what, the water body and the what? The forest, like, uh, like I've already said it. So what happens? Still there is ever what? Operation and transpiration. Uh, which take place then that uh, the warm moist air is formed or uh, is forced to rise and later condensed to form clouds that result into rain. How is this done? Still I'm going to explain using a diagram that we have just uh, like the other one we have just had. We have said that the sun is very important in this because it's the major source of light then and even heat. So now here the heat is brought by the sun rays. After the sun rays are, 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 are heating the water body, there is evaporation. So these are the sun rays that heat the water body. Still the same process repeats. The sun rays, after heating that, there is evaporation and you are seeing some arrows pointing up, showing that there is evaporation. There is some fumes, some uh, warm moist air coming from the water body. Warm moist air rises, that is evaporation. And even in some trees, that there is a transpiration. So when it rises up, it forms clouds. The process of cooling down of that warm moist air is condensation. That results into the formation of clouds. And then the clouds fall as in form of rain. That is what we call precipitation. So that is the formation of convectional rainfall which happens or, or which is experienced around water bodies and forests. We are having some districts still where convectional rainfall is received. Uh, some examples we have Wakiso district, we have Kalangala uh, knowing that this is an island district that is surrounded by water so we know uh, it is convection rainfall that is experienced in such areas. We have Kampala because it is near Lake Victoria. Jinja still on the shores of Lake Victoria. Iganga and Ibuvuma as one of the island districts that we have in uh, our country, Uganda. So with that one, uh, I think we are going to have uh, some exercise or some numbers that we can do to evaluate ourselves. Have we understood? I said by the end of the lesson, you must be able to define rainfall. Do you know what rainfall means? Do you know the three types of rainfall that was received? 
we are going to leave out one that we are going to look at in our next lesson because we are not going to cover everything. Now, uh, give the difference between relief rainfall and convectional rainfall. Yes, then in that way, uh, in the next lesson, you will come when you have uh, answered these questions so that I mark. Thank you so much. As I want to add on my voice, and the president is one that please, uh, COVID-19 is real, we, it is in the country, please wash hands, don't touch your soft parts of the body, the nose, the eyes, the mouth. Because when you do that, you will be putting the virus into your mouth. Sanitize whenever you touch anything, please wash hands. After washing hands, please wa wash them again. Don't get tired because the disease is real. Thank you.